Welcome to this lesson of Vedic Math. Uh, today we are going to learn uh, multiplication. Uh, we are going to use the base method. Um, so what are bases? So let's use a number 10. Okay, that's not thick enough. Let's increase the size of the pen. Okay. We're going to set this number as our base for all the upcoming problems. So let's try to do first problem. Uh, seven times eight. Now, looking at our previous chapter, what we learned was complements, and complements were based off of a base. So considering a base of 10, complement of 7 it, we know is 3 and the complement of 8 is 2 so what we need to do here so 10 minus 7 so 7 is below 10 so we can write here minus 3 and 8 is less than our base of 10, so we write here minus 2. So what do we do now? We take either this one, 7 minus 2, or we take 8 minus 3. We know 7 minus 2 is 5. 8 minus 3 is also 5. And then these two numbers here, 3 and two, we multiply. So three into two, we know is six. So our answer for seven times eight is equals 56. Now this may be very easy for a lot of you. You may be memorizing your times tables and uh, I've seen people memorize times tables up to 50 um, uh, and uh, they just memorize it. It's rot memorization. Um, nothing wrong in that. Um, if that works for you, uh, you're, I think you can definitely use that uh, to solve your problems if you get bored memorizing and doesn't really make fun for you then here's an alternative method for you you can use the base method to multiply let's try a few more problems um, 6 times 8 so 6 I'm saying these are single digits so what we generally end up doing is we write the base on the top of the problem so here I'm going to write it in a different color so if it's single digits uh, and you also need to see what it is closer to it's closer to 10 so you put your base on the top and then you start solving the problem so what do we get? 10. 6 is under 10. So complement of 6 is 4. So you can write minus 4 here. And this we all know it's minus 2. So you can either do 6 minus 2 or 8 minus 4. We know that is 4. And 4 into 2 is 8. There's your answer. 
let's do a few more examples 9 into 7 so 9 into 7 again this is closer to base 10 so we're gonna put 10 on top just so that we remember complement of 9 is minus 1 and complement of 7 is 3 uh, the only reason again I'm writing minus it's because it's less than 10 so that's why I'm putting in the minus sign and for it's easy to remember what's the next step is you do 9 minus 1 uh, 9 minus 3 or 7 minus 1 so 7 minus 1 we know is 8 and 1 into 3 is 3 and there is your answer 9 times 7 let's do one last one um, 8 into 9 Uh, same thing here. It's both these numbers are closer to 10. So we're going to use the base 10 and complement of 8 we know would be 2. Complement of 9 would be 1. And then you negate this 8 minus 1 is 7 or 9 minus 2 is also 7 and then 2 into 1 is 2 and there is your answer um, single digit multiplications most of the times people students tend to remember them they're very easy uh, they a lot of majority of the students that I have come across they memorize till 10 um, so however if you find memorization pretty boring well then here it is uh, an alternative method for you uh, to perform multiplications